two minutes, we're gonna fill it for you sick. The nozzle is a regular diesel, Shit, you know, so you know you can't stick it into a car or anything like that. So it, it's a pretty good pump. That's why it's a little more too. I didn't realize it was gonna be this one with the meter. Whatever, that's fine. Put it down the lower garage. garage. Yeah. This will keep track of every gallon that goes through it. Yeah. So we want to reset. Used to actually read the level. I'll show you. It's a float. Floater. Float on there. Yep. Okay. Time to get it put together. They come to fit up to a 90, 96 gallon tank. So this tank is 64. So we go two inches less, 62 inches. This is for diesel fuel. They make one for gas that is static free. Huh. Diesel, it's not as big a concern. This is the float. That's all it is. Yep. That's what slides up and down. Measures your level. Sends a signal up once a day. There's a battery in here that lasts about five years. So how does this work? Does it short out these two and then it like measures the... That's a great question. That's probably my best guess is that it... <laughs> Probably like measures the time it takes. It it reads, it'll read I think uh, about six o'clock in the morning our time. Okay. And this is the weight that goes on the bottom. What activates these is a magnet. put that in there and what I do when she calls and says there's one that's not reading quite right or something's mm -hmm. not right I'll go to their facility put this magnet back in now it's activated all oh, right okay. and it'll start reading and what I'll do is I'll put it in leave it in there for 30 seconds pull it out again and then we'll get another reading hmm. and see if it's working if that's the problem drop it down and when there's fuel in it you'll hear always listen for that float to hit it Hey everybody, it's Ryan. This morning Premier Cooperative brought down a 1,000 gallon diesel fuel tank for us to use. Now we decided that it's probably a good idea for us to have some more on-farm storage of our diesel fuel. Considering the problems that we've had trying to keep our tank full during the busy season, uh, sometimes we'll forget to call up and get a Senex truck down here to get us more fuel. Now with the on-farm storage here, we're going to have about three times as much storage space. And Dad is going to be using the 1,000 gallon tank for himself. 
and he's going to be taking the pump that is currently on the 500 and move it over to the 1000. So Premier Cooperative also brought down a metered pump that we're going to be installing on the 500 gallon tank. So then that way Travis and I are going to be sharing that tank together and there's really no question as to who's using what for fuel and it's just a whole better system than what we've been doing so far. Now another thing that we've had on the 500 gallon tank for about two months now is a cellular monitoring module. I don't know if they call it that but that's what I'm calling it. And what it does is every morning or every night whenever it sends out the text it will text Premier and it will let them know how much fuel we have in our tank and they'll be able to see how much fuel we use every day which I think is pretty cool. We, put one, we just put one on the 1,000 gallon tank this morning as well and that way we'll have a really good picture on how much fuel we're using for each of our projects and what we're doing. Uh, this will give us a lot more information on that kind of stuff and give us a better picture on where all of our fuel is going and I feel like that's going to be a big step forward that we need that we've needed to take for a while and um, I'm really looking forward to using that. Now it takes the place of the sight glass on the tanks so unless you have another spot for one um, which this tank our tanks would they do have another spot for a sight glass but we really won't need it the reason being is that they sent me a link and what I can do is I can go in there and I can see how much fuel is currently in our tanks and how much we're using day to day. So not only will they have that information, we'll have it as well. And one of the biggest things I've always said in today's world is that information is key. The more information that you have, the better off you are, especially with how competitive farming is these days. Um, you need to know where you, what your expenses are, where your, the money is going and where it's coming from and what areas you need to focus on and improve and what areas you're good on. So this is one of those things where I feel like we're kind of stepping into the 21st century with it and I'm really looking forward to seeing how much fuel we use for each of our projects. So that's about it for this video guys. I just want to let you know what's going on around here. Uh, be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work and I'll see you next time.